right. Before we start the main quest, um, I mean, of course, let's have a short look at the War Council. But there shouldn't be too much to do, of course, I actually just um, set up some new task for our advisors. And interesting, Morgan now seems to be also, like, part of our advisors. Yeah. We get a miniature mask. Whatever we can use that for. Eight those impacted by the Civil War. Let's see what we have. And yeah, there are some things, or I think rather two things we can do at Skyhold. The one thing is that we can tell uh, Cullen about all the things we found out in Empress de Lyon. Here, before the dawn. And because it was such a tedious task, I think it would be cool to talk with Cullen about it to get at least like a little story. I mean, the whole Imshell stuff was cool, though unfortunately the meeting was kind of short. I mean, we kind of cut it short, but well. Uh, if I remember correctly, Cullen is up here, right? I'm the Inquisitor. I don't need stats. Uh, ah, well, not really. Do, but he's close by. The princess is at another tower. All right. I've been reading the letters found in the quarry. Samson is making red lyrium from people. Not anymore. Not in that mine. I knew that Samson mine. had fallen, but this, it's monstrous. We have to put an end to him. Look at these orders from the encampment. That armor must give Samson extraordinary power. We may not be able to stop him. I mean, we already broke Red Lyrium, so we just have to find out a weakness, right? That's what he wants us to think. But no one's invulnerable. Then we must destroy the armor. I couldn't say how. Templars are trained not to destroy expensive magical equipment. <laughs> Perhaps Dagna has some ideas. She crafts the impossible every day. Not the worst idea. Let's have a look. Whee! Uh, the fastest way up. to Dagna. That's your problem. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Marajan. Nice to see you. How are you? How was your day? My top three video games are more of a top four. Fair enough. Wolf's Gate 3, Dragon Age Origins, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, and Skyrim Wanted. Good games. At least, besides, um, besides Mass Effect, I played all of them. My top three would be... Wolf's Gate 3, Inquisitor. Divinity Origins and 2, other top one and the second one which is the third one i think my third favorite game probably is fire emblem three houses I'm not trying to step on your toes there's so many know. games it's hard to say where's dagna what have you learned of samson he should be dead I mean, you could make a hat out of red lyrium and kill people, especially the wearer. Samson's armor, it's genius. To do all this and not go insane, it must be resistant. Or he is insane. Or both. I just wanted to say that. Maybe he is just already insane. If you're already broken, how much more is there to corrupt, right? That seems like a pawn to Corypheus. You're not comforting me, Dagna. He's dangerous either way. Oh, fine. I just need time and tools. People. And red lyrium. For tests, you see? Is that wise? Mm -hmm. Everything is safe if handled properly. And you don't touch it long. Or breathe it. I mentioned the hat, right? <laughs> no hat. Time and resources, Inquisitor. I'll get what you want. No shoe. I have work to do. Well... Sounds kind of dangerous. Go to the war table to find Samson's weakness. Uh, I mean, if we do need an advisor for it, we can't do that because currently everyone is busy. <laughs> and of course, jumping off the ledges. 
I'm not a patient man. Samson was already broken when we met him in the A2. Yeah, absolutely. Already sem seemed like lost in his lyrium addiction. Let's see, maybe it's just a an expedition which needs power or something. Uh, no, we do need an advisor for that. Sad. I tried, we'll have to do it later. Okay. We have something else for the inner circle. Nope. I do have something more on the Inquisitor's path. That the main story what Pride has wrought. Skyhold. We really do need more quarries, but I don't know where to find them. I mean we explored quite a lot of our maps, so I don't know. Maybe we're just walk walking past all the quarries. Alright, so I would say let's go for what Pride had wrought. Let's go explore what Corypheus is going to do and where he's searching for the Illuvian. Orlay. I also do wonder how many more uh, main story quests we do have before the end. I have no idea, it's been so long, I have no idea how long this game was. The Inquisition is now a force to be reckoned with. All its allies to it rally. interesting to see how yeah. much has changed in Halal. All its allies to rally their soldiers so and march with Inquisitor Lavalan's army to extra. the Arbor Wilds, where they will face Corypheus zealots one final time. The Inquisition must stop Corypheus before the Darkspawn Magister finds a long lost elven artifact in the wilds that allows him to enter the fate physically and claim its power. I mean, the question is why. Like, what is Corypheus' plan? What to do in the phase? We've been there, it wasn't easy to claim power. With an Illuvion, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the flesh. Indeed. The Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and take the power of a god. Or, How can he do that? Likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. How can he do that? Can we take this power? I won't allow it. I can't. Indeed, should Corypheus succeed, do not doubt you would be first to feel his holy wrath. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Alluvian before him? Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers? You'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? Hmm. Stop panicking. That sounds like a good idea. For starters, we don't let Corypheus worry us to death. Imagine how embarrassing that would be. Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Liliana, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus' army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> Such confidence. But the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. Please, lend us your expertise. Tis why I came here, although it is good to see its value recognized. Any further instructions, Inquisitor? Very humble. And still, she didn't tell anything. Remember what Corypheus has done while you plan. Every loss, every setback, every death. Let him learn what it means to be an enemy of the Inquisition. We'll hound Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or this Illuvian. We just adjust the camera a little bit. Right, I'd say. Let's go. And it's 
so we're fast enough. So otherwise, I guess we already saw the future that is going to come. Well, well, well. Excited to see some elven magic trying to keep us out. Ooh, and that looks like it could be in the Emerald Graves. Maybe the Arbor Wilds are also a nice place to be. Hmm. For a second I was confused, like why did she just drop some gold? It really feels like the final confrontation, right? Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? The Red Templars fall beneath our blades, Your Worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Nice. And as you can see, in the meantime, between the streams, I crafted some equipment and got us a very nice Lyrium infused staff. We're almost done with the main game. Ooh, I think two to three big main quests are left. But we also have the DLC. True. The DLC is a uh, trespasser, and we also have the descent, right? So still quite some things to play. Do only what you must. We need enough people for a celebration when we get back to Skyhold. We will not fail you, my lord, no matter what comes. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder. Morrigan, so is it on place. Say your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? <laughs> We're in the middle of a war, Morrigan. Time is short. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the alluvian he covets lies within. Hmm, sounds like fun. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. Hey, Diana, nice to see you. How are you? Aren't you playing D&D on Mondays? Ooh, Ambassador Briala, you're here? You've put together an impressive army, Inquisitor. Oh. You're dressed for battle. If the Herald of Andraste does the fray, I could hardly stay at home. Interesting that she's here. I guess the Empress wouldn't be like here in person. Are you sure? Court life makes one soft, I hear. <laughs> Show me a palace where that's true, I beg you. An elf with power still shocks. You know how it feels to hear those whispers constantly. Enough of that. Sound the charge and we'll show Corypheus the displeasure of Orle. Nice. We 
interesting. Osama's completely golden now. Doesn't seem very fitting, but hey. Ah, but I like this place. Really lush in the life. Really gives me Emerald Grace vibes. Ah, you're just playing Listen every two to weeks. How close the fighting's gotten. It will be worse ahead. I hope you're right about this temple, Morrigan. I could use a building or two. Do the woods discomfort you, Pavos? It's mostly the people trying to cut our heads off that manage that. Let's just do the level up. I'm seeing that our allies can level up. Just to use every edge we can get. Hey, Lake, Lake Lurk. <laughs> nice to see you. How are you? Marquis Brianna and her bodyguard are just down the hill in Quizzer. They wish to join you for the last push. Yeah, I guess we're going to fight lots of battles to push through. I don't wonder if we're going to see Samson. Because, I mean, he's probably leading the charge, right? Uh. I also kind of um, rearranged some of my skills. So uh, I just have to take care that I'm not using the wrong keys. Which I just did. Oh, come on, Red Templar. What exactly is happening to him? I think we are slightly over leveled. But I mean, hey, that's okay. <laughs> just mean shorter battles. Lake Lurk is a creature in Fallout New Vegas. Oh, never played that. How about you two also join the fight here? Mm. Very kindly just waiting for their companion to get slaughtered. I guess we're just facing wave after wave of Red Templars and slowly pushing onwards. I'm kind of wondering, Morgan was talking about elven magic trying to stop us. It doesn't seem like it's stopping them. Though, then again, neither does it stop us. What is it? Ah, come here, my friend. Just waited in the distance. Hmm. Were you our ally? I'm not really sure what happens that turns our enemies, companions, this translucent shade. But well, he died. He won't harm us. Thanks so much for the fellow. I think Dragon Age Origins DLCs. What kind of Dragon Age Origins are you, um, like on what platform are you playing it? Because at least on Steam, I never really got it to work. But uh, I want to see if I can maybe get it to work on DoD. leaf tree moving so much. What's Look going on? They must be the last of those enslaved at Adamant. If they are forced uh. to obey him, death will be a blessing. True. Still kind of bitter we have to kill so many rare wardens. I'm not sure if this is the way we're supposed to go. Maybe here? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. 
Okay. Sad. Usually I just like to jump down. Yes, but there are people already crying that they put in non-law stuff, or they do that in movies. I'm happy they made it. <laughs> okay, how to advance? If we're not supposed to jump down the waterfall. But I don't think I can climb up here. Hmm. Welcome of another episode to to another episode of Great. <laughs> of Eden not finding the path. Yeah, today we see a big forest. I will just try to climb those and this bridge here. Who is producing the Fallout show? I think it also really depends on like who's doing that and like how much they stick to stuff. What the heck? Where am I supposed to go? E? Yeah, I mean of course the map doesn't help with that. I'm very confused. <laughs> I mean you can see that on the map. <laughs> Straight line until here, and then what? I think maybe we have to advance through here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, se seems right. Just following the stone deer. Ah, I wish the map would give you more information. <laughs> I like that we have consistent music. Here. Also interesting because I can't remember last time we saw allies with actually actual HP bars. I think so far it was always just like either they immediately died or they just survived. And again, I don't think we had allied people in battles that much. Ah, uh, Prime is doing um, the Fallout series. I hope for the best, if you enjoy it. For Haven and the Divine. Not really my franchise, so I don't know a thing. Ah well, that was easy. <laughs> Thanks, team. For the Herald! I guess we have to go up here and then to the left. I always love it when people take like the time in game to put up templars. actually banners. Watch out. Like They've posted priorities. On the and I mean especially them. Aren't they doing like a covered operation? No, you have to see it's us. Put the banner here. Go. The comment in this game is janky, they should have stayed with Dragon Age 2 from the system. Oh. Ahem. Go. Yeah. I gotta say. I mean, I haven't played Dragon Age Origins too much, because of it being very buggy for me. But in general, the fighting system in Dragon Age is okay. I wouldn't say it's great in general. Those were elves? That was just for Templars. But I think the main flaw of Dragon Age Inquisition's uh, battle system is just how many enemies have just huge HP bars and it's just, I don't know, just health sponges. Which are not even challenging, it just takes time to get them down. Here. Uh, I 
I think it's on the ledge, not on the enemy. Here. Nothing of interest. Who were those oh. elves? They didn't look Dalish. They fought unlike any Dalish I have ever seen. Perhaps these creatures are the reason few return from the Arbor Wilds. It's interesting that those creatures, which I didn't really notice in fight, are here at the Red Templar camp. Well, it note. Maybe we can find out more about them. Captain Lowen. I don't want grumbling in the lower ranks that our Lord Corypheus handpicked Grey Wardens to be part of this honor guard over his Templars. Our charge is not to understand his will. It is only to obey it. Besides, our master still saw, lost, saw he lost all but a few dozen enslaved Grey Wardens to the Inquisitor at Adamant. If your soldiers are smart, they keep quiet about it. Lieutenant Calvin. Yeah, uh, sounds like much fun to serve Corypheus. Don't question, just follow orders. And well, be oppressed. Yay. But did you play the other Dragon Age games as well, Lake Lurk? Or just Origin so far? We are really over level here. Go. Bring a ship and system was and also origins, which is similar to Neverwinter Nights one. I don't know. I think in general I'm not too much a fan of like real time and force battle systems. It's not necessarily bad. But I'm also not like a huge fan of it. Of course, I don't know. For me, it often combines like the the bad part about both systems. Because for me, I mean, you see how I play. I rarely pause then, and then it's just mostly button smashing. I don't know. I really like turn based because it usually feels more like having a better tactical component to it. Stormheart. Interesting. Oh, quite nice birds. I played the first one and the second one I'm playing this one too. Ah, okay. Who are your favorite characters during playing? Nice. Another Red Behemoth, come on. Uh, we all... Wait, where's Cole? Cole doesn't have any armor, I don't like that. I think it's maybe one of one new ability. Because I think what it does and why they turn translucent is that they are kind of fighting on our side for a short while. Hi Jennifer! Nice to see you! How are you? Too slow. <laughs> this rendition of the song. Go. I just need to get closer. And kaboom! And here we go. At least some barrier for Paul. Origins was a great real time and pause. You could make a lot of tactics in it. I mean, it's just it's just a personal personal thing that I'm not too fond of real time and pause. Just like I don't know. For me, it kind of messes up the pacing. I guess that's it. 
But I mean, also the last games I played with real time and pause were, well, Dragon Age games and Pathfinder. I can't say that specifically about Dragon Age Origins. Uh, here. Yes. I need more fire. Because, I mean, if you pause always, why not just do it, like, turn-based? Any reference? Are there more enemies? Ah. One more. Here I go. But I also went to turn-based mode in the Pathfinder games and love PG3. That's the thing. I, I think... I wouldn't say that... Real time and pause is like actually bad, but I think mostly I just prefer either turn based or like re true real time. I'd say. Okay, so can we finally leave? Oh, that sounds quite stressful, Juniper. But I mean, sounds like you caught your appointment, so that's nice. Enter the Temple of Mithal. Mithal was the Dalish goddess for protection and stuff, right? Of protection and stuff. Ah, why is everything too far away? I hate it. Come here. We need to go down. Otherwise, we just have to wait. Go and mine. Come on, turn around, my knights. I'll just walk into my trap once more. It's fine too. Come on, come back. He dodged. Actually, not that small this map here. I wonder if those elves that are attacking us, I mean we can't really have a look at them because they're just attacking us. I wonder if they are like summons or like actual elven protectors, like still alive elves. We don't even need the supply cache, nice. Maybe we should have done this quest earlier. That must be the Temple of Mithal. In front of us, rage burning red. So close to what he wants, what he was, what he will be. Corypheus. Doesn't sound good. I hear fighting ahead. Actually looks like a very nice place. Namilana Sobanalen. They still think to fight us, Master. Samson doesn't look remnant. crazy at all. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. Corypheus, the personification of arrogance. some carnage but I mean did they just kill Corypheus can't be Samson you look quite sick dude I 
guess Griffiths just snatched another body, right? It cannot be! Across the bridge! Now! Mm. I mean, that's the thing. How are we even supposed to kill him if he just reincarnates or whatever it is in seconds? Power of Doors! That's the reason why Cassandra can't just bash in locked doors. They're incredibly powerful in the Dragon Age universe. That's the mage from the first game. What do you mean? Like Samson? He's a Templar. And Corypheus, I don't think you meet in the first game. Just in the second. Right? <laughs> 